to PlayStation VR. You're about to Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video here on Past Dish of Skin. And How's it really going? Thank you very much for stopping by. Video, We're doing a little bit of an all experimental all type here, kind of like our Dorm Discover series. So, it is the 11th, 12th of October. It is up, almost time. The PlayStation VR to help is almost the here. Process. Look at us. And inside the the Shonen unboxing videos is plenty of actual promotional Smaller material boxes. floating around the internet at the moment Crack to try and encourage us into the purchase and find of the the, the cheaper PSVR's of the three unit, a USB VR cable, systems that are available to us. And, and I thought I would actually kind of like weigh in my opinion two, on which ones are worth the trying, the worth the buying, and worth the getting. All the components now, together. I'll have to be honest, now, I have not even had the opportunity to use any of them the except for the Gear VR system, and the VR uh, connection which is essentially Google you Cardboard using the mobile phone. And I can get, I can enjoy, and I'm, in here as I can well. foresee, I can Place visualize the experience that VR reveal. actually gives that makes the it so much PSVR more worthwhile. But it's I, okay if you just want to look. It's at one of those things where. Minutes. I have been suspicious and uncomfortable with the ready, focus on the its usage at the Vive side for scale and size, and I've actually been curious about the functionality of the Move controllers that are actually being sold with the devices. It's not all that kind of. It's not that all that encouraging that. We are still focused on how it's actually about motion and moving Welcome around to whenever VR. immersion and to to an being able to just like, depart the really space that you're in to watch this three is probably video, more important for VR. From setup to I don't think so VR is going to actually take over our living up. rooms and have us changing the Sitting entire right space. Top, you'll find the Wii tried it, it didn't work. Connect tried it, didn't work. The PlayStation camera tried it, and people laughed their asses off because we're already well past that point. We are not Crack going to rejoin, develop, one. or find make people the change their living rooms based around PSVR's a piece of hardware like this. Unit, a USB cable, the television is there, adapter, uh, or even then, headphones. it is completely and already kind of lacking behind or slagging behind the portable the systems that the cables kids are using. To connect but all the components if together. anything, we could probably now, see things like the VR replacing televisions in people's rooms, especially with people not wanting to wear them for too long because of discomfort and and annoyance. The camera in here as well. I could see Place people watching micro small programs, the TV PSVR. shows, playing Headset. video games for an hour, half an it's hour at okay a time, if you just in a VR unit, and not minutes. actually being settled back into when a media center television the video space. Where you'll find out it's how to put all of the most likely scenario, in my opinion. It's not the. It, it's not that we haven't gotten over a technological hurdle. Or that we're purposefully kind of like hamstringing ourselves to see something new. It's just that we don't have. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. Like, th there's a lot of people who actually have disorientation while using them. There's a lot of people who feel motion sickness. There's a lot of people who don't have the accessibility and the ability to use a full scale, room scale VR, mattering whether on their physical ability. Uh, their living space and many other reasons. The, the idea that everybody can have a room, an imaginarium, specifically set aside for VR, is the flight of fancy. The idea of having the uh, the the hollow rooms from Star Trek isn't hollow deck from Star Trek. It's not not it's not a, a doable thing for a lot of people. Whenever we look at VR, it's still taking us away out of this world and trying to replace the world that's here. I think we're probably this is if this isn't a, a thing that's going to be the future, it's the stepping stone towards uh, augmented reality more so, which could play into the hands of the yet unreleased Hololens so much more. It it could be the future sight technology that the rest of these uh, devices are, are kind of like lit paving the trail for which would be very entertaining especially considering we've like already we've already tried and abandoned the first batch of that with the google glass which uh, obviously didn't sell all that well because of the fact of the price of it for many people that were using it and for its limited functionality I, i'm purposefully I'm, I'm still teetering on the edge of buying a playstation vr for the purpose of doing stuff for this channel because i feel that i could i have the like i have this kind of setup 
that works reasonably well that I, I could sit and play PlayStation VR and give you guys a, fi a copy of the feed that's running through my headset and it would be a pretty good face cami kind of reaction. I t that's that's the only thing that really makes me want to buy one. Outside of that, it's just for Sony's quality of head-mounted displays, which they have been doing for a long time. I have had to try one of those, which was uh, in an airport in, I think it might have been Tokyo, or was it New York? One of the two of them where I tried on a headset that was essentially put a 50-inch screen in my eyeballs. It was ma it felt massive. It felt very immersive. I felt I was like watching that movie. I could see that actually being a really enjoyable experience to sit with a headset on. Maybe using that as a part of my look controls when I'm playing a shooter, just kind of focus. I could, pro I could probably get over that. I'd be very comfortable with that. Uh, I wouldn't have the disorientation that would go along with that in a lot of ways because I've just been looking at video screens for that long and kind of I've grown to accept the imbalances that go along with it. For the majority of people, that won't be the case. I, I, I'm not committing to buying anything as of today. I just I, I don't have the disposable funds, which kind of leads me to the thought that most of these devices are really first world problems of the highest order. I mean, the, the top end of tech is always like a very top end of I've got the money problem. But unlike uh, mobile phone technology, which is always subsidized by extended costs and rental agreements and line rentals and whatever else, uh, these pieces of hardware are a single price purchase. And the other two devices are well beyond the scope of comfortable spending money unless you have a lot of cash to work with. So, PlayStation VR is the only one that's in my mental price range of, like, I could maybe rationalize the purchase of this if I made use of it. But, I, I, I don't see it. I really don't see it. I don't, I don't think anybody really is that enthused about PlayStation VR or Vive or Rift that don't already own it, that don't already have guaranteed that they are purchasing it, and that's the problem. It's the same issues that Vive and Oculus are finding that their the market share is slowing. Like their early adopter rates are like they don't they, they should not be running out of early adopters. Although in their cases, a lot of it was pre-ordered items. With the PlayStation VR, I'm curious to see how well they can maintain sales whenever other devices are already faltering. So what we're talking 68 months of guaranteed sales and support then Sony has a habit of dropping shit that just doesn't support them anymore. If anything, I would love to see, I want to know within, I would, if somebody went in and hacked the PlayStation VR, the PlayStation camera, and the Move controllers to work with PC, I'd be very curious. Because at the price range on a much more open platform, could make it a lot more of a, a really interesting tool. I would like to see some of the 3D drawing apps, the VR art apps that exist using the PlayStation VR. That, that, that's that's the little kind of, like, I want to see modeling tools. I want to see Dreams. That's one that I've actually, like, I've been following the development of by Media Molecule, the guys behind Little Big, Big Planet. It's the one that I'm really curious about because I would love to see how those tools kind of, like, integrate with technology that isn't quite as good as the other 3D systems, but still could very well do this quite well. Um, especially even if I could just start molding clay with a pair of wands in my hand. But um, yeah, guys, this has been just a quick Derm Discovers thinking about PlayStation VR and the other VRs by proxy because then we're coming up to the release date. Give me your opinions. What do you think? Uh, do, you, do you think VR is the future or is it a troubled past coming to meet us again? by the method of uh, secretly getting us back to using motion controllers? Do you think it's uh, an item that's unbelievably unnecessary, that the, the the people who are buying it are people who will buy absolutely anything whenever it comes out new, rather than actually having a purpose and a use for it? And should I buy a PSVR? Like, like are you, like, convince me, tell me if I should buy the PSVR, if you guys would be interested in seeing the PlayStation VR stuff uh, on release day because I still I have a pre-order in that I could cancel any second but if I got enough comments to kind of encourage me I could have a PlayStation VR on launch day to show you guys a bunch of the games that are available so that's your choice make sure that you kind of get in touch um, this has been a Derm Discovers so it'll go into that same folder along with the other stuff from years and ages back in fact Google Glass was one of the first things I ever did for a Derm Discovers almost a year and a half ago 
So, um, yeah, guys, I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, love and peace to every single last one of you. And I will see you all in the next one. So remember, like, comment, subscribe, and all that things. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.